So an SN2 reaction is a one-step process with a primary halo alkane. And there's the primary halo alkane. The nucleophile, the hydroxide ion, comes in and reacts with that primary halo alkane, causing it to undergo stereoinversion. That's equivalent to an umbrella being blown inside out by the wind. So this is a recent four-point IB question. Iodoethane reacts with the hydroxide ion, show the movement of electrons and the stereochemistry. So is it SN1 or is it SN2? Well, hopefully you remembered one, two, three, bang. SN1 is a two-step process with tertiary halo alkanes. And that's the fast substitution nucleophilic reaction. Well, iodoethane is not a tertiary halo alkane, it's a primary halo alkane. So that means we must be dealing with SN2, oh, SN2, which would be the opposite, just one step, a primary halo alkane, and it's slow. So SN2 is just one step. Now you do need to show the intermediary step, but it is a one step mechanism. All righty, so I'm gonna do it first without the stereochemistry, uh, and that will get me three of the four points, and then I'll use models to explain the stereochemistry. So there's iodoethane, and there's the hydroxide ion. Now, from a lone pair on the oxygen, or from the minus sign, you need to draw a curly arrow showing the movement of an electron pair towards that carbon atom there. Now, why does it choose to go to this carbon atom as opposed to any other atom? Well, if you recall, Iodine is more electronegative than carbon, so it's going to have a slightly negative charge, leaving this carbon here with a slightly positive charge. If you draw the arrow coming from anywhere other than the double electron there, the electron pair there, or the negative sign, you'll lose a point. And if it doesn't go to the carbon, you'll also lose a point. Then this electron pair between the carbon and the iodine moves over to the iodine and you'll lose another point if you don't draw it coming from the bond. So the two electrons there go towards the more electronegative iodine. This is the intermediary species of this one-step reaction. Uh, no square brackets, you've lost a point. Forget the negative there, lost a point. And if you put HO instead of OH, you'll also lose a point because of course it's the oxygen that bonds onto the carbon. And finally, once you've done your substitution, of course the S is substitution, don't forget to put the iodide iron in as well because that'll be another point that you could lose. This is worth three points in total, but you could see you could actually screw it up and lose five or six points. Don't forget the N is the nucleophile, something that is attracted towards nuclei which are positive. So in this case, the hydroxide ion is a nucleophile. But you haven't actually got the fourth point here. Remember, this is a four point question that you should be able to do in six minutes because you haven't shown the stereochemistry. So this is the stereochemical version. I'm going to turn this CH3, this methyl, and just put it down as another of the four coming off of this carbon there. Now, don't forget that this is called the wedge dash diagram. It shows stereochemistry, 3D chemistry, if you will. The solid line is the hydrogen coming out, and the dash line is the hydrogen going back. Now, to simplify it, I've got this here. How have I simplified it? Well, I've, I've taken off the hydrogens because it was just getting too cluttered. The wedge is the hydrogen coming forward and the dash is the hydrogen going back. 
And I'm going to have that OH minus, the hydroxide ion, coming up there. So you do have to show this intermediate, this reaction intermediate. Again, square brackets, and I put the minus sign, dotty lines too. But now I try to show it in 3D. So as this hydroxide ion comes up there, then these three equatorial will move up to become at 90 degrees. So these three will flex up. Fantastic. And that gives us this molecule here. Notice this has undergone what's called uh, stereo inversion or just inversion. It's popped upwards like an umbrella. And so as you can see, it's really easy to draw it first time. Okay, I messed it up a little bit there. Second time. So these are similar now. Uh, the way that I remember it, is I try to keep the, the iodine and the methyl group in the plane of the paper, so just a straight line, not going in or coming out, makes it too confusing. And then you end up with the hydroxide iron and the methyl group also in the plane of the paper. And then the two hydrogens, well, you've no choice, you just flip them up. So it doesn't really matter if you get these two hydrogens confused in your mind because, well, they're both hydrogen. And we're done. And of course, I forgot that iodide iron. So I only would have got three points out of four after all. Idiot Thornley. Dr. Atkinson is concerned that nuclear files are going to try to invert his umbrella. Here they come.